hello students um, let me introduce myself my name is uh, Ronnie Thray and uh, I teach in a college my subject is English and um, I did my masters from the University of Calcutta College Street campus and I cracked net the national eligibility test subsequently and after that I kind of got into this professorship now I have noticed that many of the students and many others as well they do lack a sense of they do lack basic sense of grammar I have seen that and it uh, obviously has an adverse effect on uh, their higher studies their writing skills etc so today I thought that uh, I might I will do a video on the basics of English which uh, obviously will lay the foundation for greater development in the future writing skill um, and also speaking skills and other things so let's commence first of all while we write a sentence there are three things that comes to our mind and those are the subject the verb and the object now what is a subject subject is the main component based on which the verb works and the object is placed for example when I say I play football so what is the subject of the sentence the subject of the sentence is I how while uh, how can we identify the subject of a sentence we can identify the subject of a sentence by asking the question who to the verb now what is a verb verb is obviously an action verb is obviously an action word and something which denotes doing something or being something we will come to the intricacies of verb later on but first in a very rudimentary understanding let us think and let us presume that verb is an action word so when I say I play football here what is the action word the action word is play so that is obviously the verb of the sentence and when I question the verb who plays football the, the answer that comes is I and obviously I does the action the, the I in this sentence does the action of playing so we have to we have two points first we have to question the verb with who the answer that we get is the subject of the sentence and we must remember that the subject of the sentence obviously does the action which is the verb so now we can recognize subject and verb subject is I verb is play now what is an object object is something which basically tells you more about the sentence in a sense that when you you identify the object of the sentence by questioning the verb with what and whom now if in this question in, in in this sentence if you ask the verb a question with what what do i play the answer that comes is the the noun football so football is basically the object of the sentence so I play football here I is the subject play is the verb football is the object now if I say that there can be various forms various things we will go, uh, go to that later on now let's move on 
to a bit more complicated sentence he gave me a pen for example if we say so here who gave me a pen he he is the subject what did he do what is the action here give the basic verb and obviously the past tense of the verb is gave so gave is here gave here is the verb of the sentence and it tells more about the sentence what did what did he give a pen that is the first object and also if i question whom did he give he give a pen the answer is me so me and pen both are the objects of the sentence so that is uh, that, that is basically a sentence comprising two objects now let's move on to another very basic thing which is person we know that person can be of three types first is first person then we have second person and then we have third person right so first person is uh, first person is what i and we what is second person you both in the singular sense and in the plural sense and what uh, uh, the third person comp comprises of everything else other than you i and we everything else names um uh, names of objects names of rivers everything else in the world he she uh, ram for example uh, the house school college everything every noun basically and a very important thing to note in this basic understanding of the subject verb object and person is that the subject of a sentence is always a noun or a pronoun now we have heard of parts of speech right so in parts of speech how many parts of speech uh, uh, parts of speech are are there subject verb or uh, uh, sub uh, sorry the parts of speech are noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection noun is basically a naming word and pronoun substitutes the noun we will move on to the other parts of speech later on so what i am trying to say is that the subject and object always will have to be a noun or a pronoun right once we understand this we will we can go into further studies now i was talking about person first person is i and we second person is you and third person is he she etc now i am talking about person because the subject and the verb agreement will depend upon the person of that particular sentence for example when i say i we cannot use is or are etc we have to use am isn't it when i say you we have to use are you are when i say they or he or she or we, we take names for example the ganges is a holy river we have to we, we have to use is so we also need to know that the verbs can be of various types for example first we start with the to be verb to be verb, verb is am is are was were can could shall should will would may might ought okay these are to be verbs these are helping verbs 
which helps the verb of a sentence to fulfill the meaning. Now we have the to have verb which is have has and had. I am telling this all these things because these are very rudimentary in constructing a sentence. For example, when I say I am going to school or he is playing football or my mother is cooking whatever say biryani. So I am going to school here I is the subject and I is also in first person that's why we are using to be verb am and to complement that we are using eating so am eating total is a finite verb and also a transitive verb there are also differences between transitive verb and finite verb we will delve into that later on I am eating rice he is going to school my mother is cooking food so the helping verb basically supplements the main verb and completes the meaning of a sentence and helps in constructing the sentence now if we talk about tenses what are tenses what does tense mean tense basically means the time of a verb how many tenses are there there can be three types of tenses first is the present tense which denotes the present time then we have the past tense which denotes the the past time which is already gone and the future which will come right so now each tense has four types of four subtypes basically what are they first is indefinite second is continuous third is perfect fourth is perfect continuous what is how uh, uh, how how do we define a present indefinite tense present indefinite tense basically denotes an action which is done on a regular basis and also it denotes a habit for example if i say i eat rice that is the present indefinite or simple present tense because it denotes a habit something which you do regularly then we have how how do we construct uh, present indefinite tense present indefinite tense we use the subject then we use the verb eat i eat and then we use the object rice then we have present continuous tense what is a present continuous tense present continuous tense basically denotes anything that is going on right now not a habit that's the basic difference between the indefinite uh, the indefinite of the simple uh, form and the continuous form which is ongoing right now for example I am eating rice which means that it denotes a time which is ongoing right now okay the process so how how do we construct that we use the subject obviously and then we use a to be verb am then main verb eat plus ing am eating I am eating rice then we have the perfect form present perfect present perfect denotes a kind of a time which started in the past but just finished in the present time which means we are denoting a past time by using a present uh, a present tense for example i have eaten rice which means that in in the past i was eating rice or i have uh, i ate rice i started eating rice in the past and it just finished right now in the present time we are basically denoting a past action through present tense how do we con how do we construct that the subject then to have auxiliary i have 
then main verb the third form or the past participle form of the main verb i have eaten have is the auxiliary eat ate eaten third form rice object present perfect continuous for example if you do a certain action for a certain period of time and when the whole period of time you want to denote the whole process you want to you want to basically uh, speak about the whole span of time you want to catch that whole span of time then you use the present perfect continuous tense for example say i have been eating rice for 30 minutes which means you are denoting the whole process of 30 minutes the whole span of time you you uh, you construct that by using the subject first which is i then you use the to have auxiliary have then you use the third form of to be auxiliary to be auxiliary is m is r that is the present form of to be auxiliary the past form is was where and the third form is or the past participle form is been am is are present was where past been past participle so i have to have auxiliary then the third form of to be auxiliary that is been i have been and then the the main verb which is eat plus ing i have been eating rice the object for 30 minutes that is the adverb basically the complement so i am denoting the whole time span i started 30 minutes before i am still eating rice i am still eating rice in the present time please note that i am eating rice in the present time i started 30 minutes before i am denoting the whole span of time and still i am eating rice that we the for that for capturing that time span we use present perfect continuous tense that's it for today the introductory video and a little bit of rudimentary music upon the subject verb object the person and obviously a touch uh, of the tense by speaking about the present tense and its forms thank you